how to change the background of a video in CapCut. Well, the first thing we need to do is to isolate the foreground because we obviously need an element in the foreground so that later on we can easily change the backgrounds. In our case, our main subject is this samurai warrior here. Luckily in CapCut, we can easily remove the background of a video by using the feature called Cutout. So with the video clip selected that you would like to remove the background for, in the upper right corner, click on Cutout and then click on Auto Cutout. And just like that, CapCut is going to remove the background of your video clip. Awesome. Now let us play this video clip for a second. And as you can see, we now have some minor issues with our video clip. The main issue here is that we still have some red edges around her head. However, in CapCut, we can take care of these problems using Chroma Key. So I'm going to select Chroma Key now. And then I click here on Color Picker. Now, before we pick the color with the color picture, we actually have to zoom in here a little bit to make sure that we can pick the exact area. To do that, click here on this symbol next to Ratio and then increase the zoom level. Now with our Color Picker, I hover over these red edges and then left click. And to make adjustments now, we use this strengths and shadow slider here. And just like that, these red edges are almost completely gone. Awesome. Please note that in most cases, this is not going to be absolutely perfect, but it all depends on your main footage. Usually this works best when isolating people and when there is not too much movement. Just keep that in mind. Also, whenever you actually put it in front of a new background, some of these minor issues on the edges probably won't even be visible anymore. So let us continue now that we have removed the background of our main clip. Make sure to add your new video backgrounds to the timeline if you haven't done so yet. In our case, we already have these two backgrounds here ready on the timeline. And now to put our warrior in front of these two backgrounds is actually very simple. All we need to do is to create an overlay with our main clip and we can easily do that by left clicking on it and then simply dragging it up. And now when I move the player to the beginning of the video, you will see that actually our warrior is already in front of our Sakura background. Now in order that it also appears on our second background, we would either reduce the length of this first background here, I can simply do that by hovering here over the end of the first clip and then by dragging it left. Or you can also take your main video clip and make it slower by using the speed option here in the upper right corner. In our case, we simply decrease the duration of the backgrounds and that works just fine for our purposes. So now let us play this clip and have a look. And this actually already looks pretty amazing. You can then still play with the strengths and the shadow slider here on the chroma key to make minor adjustments. For example, we could increase the shadow a little bit and like this, the result is even a little bit better. And on that one, actually everything almost looks perfect. So all these settings actually highly depend on the actual backgrounds that you're actually going to use. But just know with chroma key and these two sliders here, you can take care of many of these problems and make it look really awesome. And if you can't get satisfying results, you might want to try different backgrounds or maybe even try with a different foreground. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, the more movement for the foreground there is, the more difficult it will be to actually remove the background in the first place. Once you do have your foreground isolated, you're obviously not limited to using video backgrounds. You can also simply use a regular image background. Everything's just gonna work fine. So now I just imported five different pictures. At this point, it's really up to you and your imagination. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more CapCut tutorials.